Thank you for joining me again today for this moment around God's Word and prayer. I always love coming and just entering your life a little bit, intersecting with your own spiritual growth in whatever way I can, uh, because I, I don't trust what I have to say, but I do trust powerfully the Word of God. And that's why we stay very focused on Scripture in these moments and that's why I do call them a moment around God's word. And then we always follow it with prayer. We just started yesterday a series out of the New Testament letter written by James. And when we come to uh, verse 2 of James chapter 1, uh, we, we find uh, one of the most well-known uh, points of instruction in the entire book of James. And it's this, consider it pure joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kind. Talks about an oxymoron here. Consider it joy when you face lots of trials of all kinds. Perhaps your day already has been filled with trials of all kinds. And the call of, of James to the churches he was writing to and to the believers he was writing to was that this is worth celebrating, that you're going to have some pressure on your life today. Now, I'm not doing it right now because of the pandemic, but we, I, do have a, I do have a fitness center near where I live, the Y, and I, I go there. And usually I do two kinds of exercises. One's aerobic, you know, just to get your circulation and heart rate up. Do that maybe on the ellipticals or the treadmill. The other kind is resistance exercises. And that's where you go and you push those weights. And you don't build muscle strength unless you, 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 fate, you have to work against resistance. And the resistance builds your muscles. That's lifting weights or whatever you do or doing push-ups or pull-ups. It's resistance work. That's what builds your muscles. And that's why James said you ought to have joy because God's building you strong. Verse, next verse. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And it's especially these trials that are the resistance exercises. And what does it create? Perseverance, which, which is spiritual endurance. Spiritual endurance means I, I just don't give up easily anymore spiritually. It, it means when things aren't going my way, I don't just fly off the handle and get mad at God. It, it, it means, you know, uh, when I'm hurting and I, I don't understand what's happening in my life, I don't act out and try to medicate my pain with secret sinful behaviors. It, it means I've learned perseverance. I've learned spiritual endurance. Why? Because these trials are, have built that the resistance that I have to work against through working through trials by God's grace, it builds resistance, builds strength in me so that I really can persevere persevere. You know, the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work in you so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I mean, to get to the place where we have spiritual endurance, it probably requires all kinds of other spiritual workouts in our lives, all kinds of other resistance training, trials. And why do we celebrate them? Why do we have joy when trials are coming? Because Jesus is making us strong for the long run. And, and because in the midst of a trial, we, we don't always see the big picture. We don't always understand fully how God is shaping our endurance and our perseverance. He says in the next verse, so, so here's how you can pray. If any of you lacks wisdom, if any of you aren't sure what's really going on, if you really need to see life from God's perspective so that you can have joy when you're going through these resistance trials, ask God. You should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Now, he's gonna, not going to scold you. He's not going to shame you because you say, God, I'm not sure what you're doing in my life right now. I mean, he understands that. He said, he said God's not going to shame you at all. But, but you do have all kinds of permission to say, God, will you keep showing me the bigger picture and keep recentering my life in joy? In fact, in verse 12, just jumping down there to close, he said, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Would you pray with me? Our Father, we thank you for resistance training. I don't want to go to the gym some days. I don't want to try to lift those weights or do those push-ups. But God, thank you. you. You put into our life the necessity to push against these trials and to learn spiritual endurance, and to learn perseverance, and someday to be able to wear the crown of righteousness. I thank you, Lord. So will you help us to persevere under trial? 
Will you help us to reframe what, what we resent and what may make us bitter into something of joy because you're growing us up. Give us endurance, give us perseverance, and give us joy in the workouts that are needed to get there today. In Jesus' name, amen.